This is my wife's favourite computer, the 12 inch super thin MacBook. In fact, she loves it so much that she calls it her baby. But unfortunately, her baby's battery is on the fritz and the official Apple repair people say that it's obsolete and they won't touch it. And so it's up to me to fix that baby today. If I succeed, I live to be a hero. If I don't, then I die a hero. Let's see which one it is. All right, so yeah, today we're gonna to be fixing my wife's computer, replacing the battery in theory, but don't worry, if it, if it doesn't go well, I have set up I have set up the couch for tonight. And I have my beautiful wife here, Addie, to witness the procedure. Um, hopefully- The horror. The horror, yeah. Hopefully <laughs> you can um, hear what she's saying. I didn't actually have a spare mic, but maybe that'll be for the best in case there's any screaming involved. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get to it. I have the instructions, don't worry. So the last time I did this, uh, I repaired my own computer and it all went well. We only lost one screw. Hopefully we don't lose anything this time. I've done this a million times. I've only used the pliers every time. So uh, you may hear a crack. Oh no. They don't want you to open it, so they have to make you scared to do it, see? Oh, see, that's, that's normal. Okay, look inside, there's your baby. Oh. That's inside your baby, Adi. <laughs> how beautiful is that? There's cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> how did it get inside his family? <laughs> that's how many cats you yeah. have. So we have to flip it over and double spudge. But this seems more precarious. No, it's fine, they, they, they say to do They know what they're doing? Come camera, look at this. It's not too late to go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, Adi, this is what we do. Hmm, how am I gonna... <laughs> <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's under control. Okay, why does it say precariously balance the computer on two sponges? <laughs> it's not how you should do this. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, this the part no. that was the hardest? No, <laughs> that's the display <laughs> cable, which comes later. Removing the battery, screw. And <laughs> What was that? When did you first see the um, this 12 inch computer? I first saw it under the Louvre the pyramid. Louvre. That's right, instead of seeing the Mona Lisa. Yeah, I was like, screw all this artwork, I'm just gonna go to Apple. Now we put in the battery separator pick. Disconnects the battery, see? Uh, uh, sure you're meant to put it in that deep. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Botka is entering the room. If we have any mishaps, I'll blame the cat <laughs> instead of me. Marriage saved. Difficulty is now nightmare mode. <laughs> nightmare mode. <laughs> the audio jack ploops out. Yeah, this was the laptop that only had one USB-C port, but sometimes one is all you need. Especially with this video sponsor, Ugreen. The Ugreen Revodoc Pro 210 can turn one of your USB ports into 10. Check it out. We get five gigabits fast data from both the USB-C and USB-A port here to plug in things like your storage drives. There's also two more USB-A 2 ports for your peripherals like mice and keyboards. There's gigabit ethernet for fast internet access, SD card slots to transfer media, and a 100 watt USB-C power delivery port. And what's this? The piece de resistance? Count them. Two HDMI ports, so you can plug in up to two displays at the same time. Now macOS can either mirror all the displays, or just mirror the two external displays. And if you have a PC, each display can be different. It supports up to 4K at 60Hz if you plug in two monitors, and up to 8K 30Hz if you plug in just one. Oh, and don't worry if you need room to manoeuvre as it has a generous foot-long cable, which makes it one impressive dongle. So power up your laptop today and click the link in the description to get 29% off the Ugreen Revodoc Pro 210. The next part is the trickiest of the parts, uh -huh. which is the display cable here. Do you have um, a spare of those? No. Oh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really put the most fragile, terrible cable and just attach it at six different points. You're not meant to fit with it. You just meant to buy a new one. Okay, well, let's hope that goes back together again. But now, here comes the fun part, see? Ta-da! Oh, We've detached the computer. What's that wet spot? 
Oh, maybe I spill? Oh, you spilled something? No, not. Well, if it doesn't work, that's probably the me. problem, I think. Yeah. yeah. See, this computer has survived so much. Will it survive <laughs> Will it? Sam? <laughs> yes. Okay, I We're might. Just uh, make a wood. Yes, I might just yeah. pop in from time to time. Now. Yeah, all right, Hattie's got some work to do. Yes. But we got the hardest part, I think, done. It'll be fine. It's in good oh, hands. Power of Steve, be with you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, it's good that Addy has left the room because this is one part that I broke in my 15 inch computer. So, what? what? Nothing. So, we're disconnecting the wireless antenna. I have broken these before, but that was before I saw a warning that says how fragile they are. Success. Oh, oh. oh I was also worried about that, but we got through it as well. Ah, Ness, thank you. Disassembled. Come with me, logic board. And look at that. That's all the computer is, really. That's all it is. That's like what they put in the Terminators. The Terminators ran on iOS, and that's why they crashed so much. And remember everyone, wear your protection, even if you're just by yourself. And now, for the fun part, the battery removal. Can this explode now? Yeah, um, if it does explode, where should I run with it all? You can't put water on it. You can't put water on an electric fire. Do we just leave it on the table and the IKEA can take most of it? This is the battery glue remover because if this wasn't already difficult enough to disassemble, of course, there's nice glue pads underneath the battery here. All right. Yep, certainly smells flammable. I'm gonna start dribbling on your computer, Adi. Okay. Someone on YouTube I saw when they removed it, they used a spudger, which really crumpled it. Uh-huh. It didn't explode though. But everyone in the comments was like, don't do that or it'll explode. Is that the Apple card? Yeah, <laughs> this is the Apple card. <laughs> <laughs> this will save you and your computer. It should require minimal force. If you have trouble, apply more adhesive. Not adhesive, the adhesive remover. Adhesive remover, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the remover of adhesive. <laughs> okay. All right, one battery's out. Five more to go. Maybe I should open up a repair shop, you know? I can repair one thing a day. It may or may not work at the end, but I'll just tell the client I did my best, you know? And what more can you do? No refunds. Whew, minimal effort in my ass. Get in there. All right then, so in theory, should just be able to lift this up. Do you want to check this out, Adi? Huh? Coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that! We've removed the burn. We have to remove all of this glue now. Yeah, now we have to do all that. And the patient. Uh, well, stable. It's stable condition. <laughs> we may be able to revive. Right now, they're dead, but it's okay. We'll bring them back. Thank you, nurse. Take that to an Android computer. No explosions. No explosions. Yeah, I did slightly puncture the battery, but oh, it didn't explode. That's ah. good. <laughs> I slowed down after that happened, you know. Now there's a slight possibility I might be getting a little high off the fumes, but that's okay. It'll make the job easier. One eternity later. Well, all right then, it's finally a nice clean blank slate. We got the batteries off well. So if you're wondering where Apple spends all your money on the MacBooks, it's on the glue, because that took a while to get off. Yeah, <laughs> only two hours. And now we have the new one that we'll put in. And these are the glue pads, which we'll peel off in a second. But apparently you have to be very careful because these batteries are terraced so that you have to get them in just right or else it won't close again and Sam will cry. Not as much as I do with me. Yeah. Everyone will cry. Well, let's hope this works. Because once you glue, it's a hell of a thing to unglue. Oh, this glue is not as strong as <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they cheap down. We just peel off this film. All right. And now we just do everything that we just did, but in reverse. Let's go. <gasps> All right, well. We've successfully put it back together. It's not rattling, so it should be good. Hasn't exploded. Hasn't exploded yet, and gorgeous. you're happy. Gorgeous, I love it so much. I hope it works. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just give it a second, okay? Let's just give it one second. Let's just, let's just. <laughs> have a moment of Have a moment of silence <laughs> for the computer. No, no, it'll be back. Like what could have gone wrong? Nothing, surely. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you break your wife's computer. <laughs> I subscribe, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on there, don't unsubscribe just yet, because I stayed up late into the night, attempting several different techniques to get this computer to turn on. And guess what? None of them worked. And so, I'm giving Addy the computer that I did fix last time. What a legend. There you go, Addy.
don't make me fix that one again or else <laughs> nothing will work. Actually, that one might be out of battery too. No, I have two broken computers. Thanks, yeah. Sam. But that's the symbol I was hoping for this one. Hmm. The symbol it gives you is, is this one. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, because the golden computer did charge. And now Addie is getting used to her new computer. But you know what? To show my love, I also gave her the U Green Ravidoc Pro 210. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get one of your own. That went very well. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe today. Seeing all the effort, even if it doesn't work now, you can still sleep in the main. Oh, thanks, Addie. <laughs> Requiring more than just minimal effort. <laughs> like I don't know how hard to push it. The black part. Ah! No! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's how we get the views. <laughs>